Really cool. Um, do you like? Is that one of your maybe like? Uh, is that something you enjoy doing? Like coming up with the creative aspect of like the videos and like how do I you know take this song and kind of like you know make it uh, maybe like uh, relatable on a different level with with the visuals and things like that. Is that something you enjoy doing? No, it's a it's a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Um, before I ever wrote a song, I was writing stories mm. like i had this big kind of nerdy part in my life like from fifth to seventh grade where oh, yeah, join the club <laughs> <laughs> and you know I, I i i was like the weird kid right because i had yeah. i had these brothers that were like super popular in, in the city you know right. what i mean and in turn i was a popular kid due to that mm -hmm. but I was also an artistic kid, so I would, like, run around and get into all the shit that, like, the popular kid would do, but I'd go home and write stories to submit to these contests and shit. Yeah, yeah. So that was always there, and when the music popped, it was, even when I'm writing the music, there's another story yeah. in the back of my head that... I always think could be a visual component mm -hmm. that that happens every time I write a song. When you're when you're writing a song, do you ever start thinking of the visual component and then think to yourself, "Oh, I could take this song in a completely different direction." Oh yeah, all the time. All the time. What about like an example? What was one song that that happened on? Um, Can you think of one? For sure. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to give away too much because yeah, this yeah. is a. Uh, a new piece of music that'll be coming. Oh, you heard but, it here, yo, it's exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was writing this song recently, uh -huh. and it's actually for uh, the second installation of Trill Dollar's music. Ooh, yeah, that's what I like. To, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like. I'll take a step to that. That's what I like to yeah, hear. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, for that. So as I'm writing, um. Because this, this new project from us is going to be very conceptual. Mm -hmm. um, so as I'm writing it, I'm thinking to myself, I could see all of these visuals that will work for music videos or whatever, right? right? Mm -hmm. Even art probably for it, right? Even art. Right. Yeah. And as I'm doing that, the the thoughts are coming out that, Maybe I'd like write this in this bar and connect it to this bar, but then I'm like, oh shit, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is going to turn out to be like I don't want I don't I want my music to be a story. Right. But I don't want it to be so much a story that you're ripped out of the fun aspect of the song. So I I try to make and I know this is a terrible way to put it, <laughs> but some songs require this depth that people can grasp onto and be like, wow, that's like phenomenally written. Mm -hmm. But I also want to have more music that's fun to listen to without thinking. You don't want the story to necessarily overpower the song, right? Like you still want the song to be. I like, still want you to vibe the fuck out. Yeah, you still want us to vibe, right? Like it's you know there's there's that <laughs> element to it, but like at the same time, there's there's something you're trying to get across, right? So is that is that ever a difficult? Cause you're a lyricist. Is that ever a difficult balance for you, being somebody who's probably so focused on how to make words fit together? Yeah. 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 Um, if I if I shut that part off that's going into the story mm -hmm. or the visual aspect, it's going to flow so much better. Yeah. But that's a hard switch to shut off. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's crazy. So I find myself doing that a lot. Like, bro, this <laughs> you're writing this the story aspect is leaking into this too much. Yeah. And then I like I'll scrap and then I I'll just go back. Yeah. To uh, flows, and I'm like, I, I need to like make this more vibey and give right. you a hint of, you know, little sprinkles of what I'm co trying to convey. That's cool. Do you do you feel like you learn something new every day when writing music? Do you feel like you learn every day? Yeah. What about like? Can you give example of the most recent thing that kind of hit you that was like, oh, 
you know, good learning. Most recent. Yeah, or one that um, sticks out. One that sticks out. Yeah. Um, to be honest, uh, although this is something that I've kind of sort of always done, mm. more recently with the Nort Project, mm. it occurred to me that I don't necessarily need to bar this shit down on every single song. What, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, like the wordplay doesn't have to be so insane yeah. every single time I write these songs. Yeah. Um, and that c- occurred to me just working with two other guys. Mm-hmm. That was like, yo, I just heard this verse and you borrowed this shit down so crazy yeah. that me competing with that or even giving bars that are equivalent to that right. is going to kind of narrow the listener to yeah. me. So it's like, yeah, I'll take the opportunity to just kind of swag this verse out or yeah. like just have it like the cadences be very flow driven mm-hmm. and try not to like knock people's heads off with the bars on this.